Let me uh, start off. We're going to go in Acts, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And I'd like to just preface this. Uh, somebody posted today, no, this week, about Matthew 24, when Jesus was saying, when you see these things, the time has is, is, is come closely. You're, you know, we're in the time of the end, when you see the fig tree blossoming, and when you hear of wars and rumors of wars. It really has come alive this week because, as you know, Israel was attacked by Iran. Iran and, and the West have been basically in a cold war for quite a few years now on the precipice of a nuclear war. But it's interesting, now that the trigger's been pulled a bit, I'm not exactly sure all, all what led up to to it, but Israel decided, Israel's been saying for many years that Iran is going to attack, Iran is going to attack. And for many years, Iran has been using Hezbollah, and now, not only, because Hezbollah is the military arm of, of, of Iran, but now, of course, they've been really backing Hamas, and then Hamas uh, is you know in Gaza attacked Israel. We know what was that? I forgot what, what October was it? October seventh. They they attacked Israel, and we know that uh, Israel has you know brutally re revenged upon Hamas and that whole region, Gaza. And then about a week and a half ago, what happened was Israel killed in another country. I think it was Syria. They killed top Iranian general and Iranian general's sons. So about four days ago, Iran, or no, maybe more than that, maybe a week ago, Iran responded with the first ever attack, not through Hezbollah, not through Hamas, not through any proxy. They attacked directly from Iran. But it's all over the news. If you look at CNN, ABC, Fox, you look all over the news, they talk about Iran strikes back, Iran strikes back. The news is doing a really big thing on this. Well, number one, outside of agendas, war is great for ratings. You know, If anybody ever seen that TV, that movie with Will Ferrell, and he's the anchorman, anchorman. And he's like, you know, in one of the episodes of Anchorman, there's a car chase happening. And he's like, give me the camera, give me the camera, give me the camera. And it's like, what do you mean? He's like, follow that car. And he's like, following the car. And then he's like, live on Nightly News. There's a live chase. It was the first. Now we always know live chases. The O.J. Simpson live chase. Live chases are normal. But the first time a live chase was ever done, they're kind of reenacting how that was done. And they're like, what do you mean? That's crazy. We can't show this on TV. He's like, just film it. And all of a sudden, all of America's watching it. Everyone's like, put down their food. They're staring. Oh, my God, honey, look at this. A live chase. It was so good for the ratings. Now, anytime there's a live chase, the helicopters are out to film it, right? So it's kind of the same concept. War really gets the ratings. Certain things get the ratings. So definitely we had that agenda, at least for the ratings. Other stuff, I think so too. But they're all covering this. But if you, if you really look at it, if you're an intelligent person and you drill down on it, this attack from Iran took 17 hours they launched drones to fly from Iran all the way to Israel for 17 hours, just turtle mode. And Iran just sat there for 17 hours just waiting for it to get close enough so they could take their little joysticks and ping, 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 ping and just knock them all down. And of course, Israel knocked down like 99% of them. You know, out of, three, out of 300 drone and missiles that was shot over from Iran, I think Israel destroyed like 297 of them. So quite honestly, it was a joke. But here's the thing. Iran knows it was a joke too. So why would Iran attack Israel knowing that it's going to take 17 hours for their drones to come, and that Israel has the best air defense system on planet Earth called the Iron Dome, why would they even waste, I think they said the attack cost 
I forgot what it was. It was something billion. It was a multi-billion dollar expenditure to send these drones over. So why would they spend billions of dollars to send these turtles across many countries all the way to the Iron Dome just to be exploded in the air and not hit Israel? It's a, it's a hypothetical question. Why would it, Iran waste over a billion dollars for uh, an attack that would never even work? And they knew it, and everyone knows it. One of the reasons why is a safe face. Because Israel just killed their general, their top general, and his four kids. So Iran, number one, has to do that to save face. Both, I mean, they want to show the world, their own people, everyone, the term, I'm sorry, because I use the term save face, and that's kind of a Chinese term, so I, I should qualify what it means. It means save yourself from being embarrassed. That's what it means. From their own people. Because if their own people see they killed our general, they killed our, our four sons, our general, and you didn't do nothing, they could overthrow the regime. So that's the big thing. And then, of course, on the world stage, they don't want to look like punks either. You know, they, there's a lot of pride, right? The ethnic pride, Persian pride, Iranian pride, you know. So it was number one to save face, right? So Israel knows this. So it's very interesting. This is what happened in the last 48 hours. Israel knows this. So Israel, about two days ago, about three days ago, they attacked Iraq, Iran, and Syria. So Israel attacks three different sites. A Saturday, three different sites. Supposedly there was nuclear sites. But it's been leaked in the last 24 hours that the places they supposedly attacked, there was actually no attack at all. There was no bombing, no explosions. One of the, one of the general, one of the, not generals, but like one of the, the prime ministers of Iran, he, 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 was, he went to that town and took a video and showed, like, look, we're here live streaming. There's nothing here. Everyone's eating dinner. And there was no attack here, you know. But Iran did, Israel did the same thing Iran did a week earlier. Faked an attack just to say to their people and other countries, oh yeah, we didn't tolerate that. They threw 300 drones at us and we didn't tolerate it. We attacked back three places. So it's all the theater of war. And so this week, more than ever, it, it really... And I have a bunch of videos on this, like verified videos on this. So I'm not just saying this is conspiracy. I have verified videos on this that, I, that I've, I've, I've been seeing. So here's the point. Jesus said, when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, the rumors of wars never stood out to me until this week. The rumors of wars. Oh, they got attacked and they attacked back. And all the news media was covering all of this, like, you know, like, like it's bigger than it really is, you know. So it's, it's quite interesting. We're really in this time.